what's good with your BT sneakers. Today's video, we'll be doing a review over the Lamella Balls McQueen Cities. I know these these been out like, like I want to say like two months ago, but yeah, I'm gonna do a review over these and get my thoughts and opinions. And um, yeah, I'm gonna explain if these are gonna go up or these are gonna go down. I think the price range around these are like the last time I seen them, probably like 160, 150 range. As you can see, these are the McQueens right here. Clean colorway, just all purple shoe. Has this uh, rare thing right there. Piece of hair in my, in my mouth. But, but yeah, it says um, from right here, it says not from here. One of one, which is pretty cool. And there's Mellow right there with the Puma. And as for that, says one of one up here as well. I think that's his jersey number, I believe. And that's the one right there. I haven't been keeping over basketball, so I have no idea. I haven't been watching sports lately, but I'm gonna show you the inside. I believe these are a size size 10. I'm pretty sure you the box as well. But let me pull up this inside real quick. Ooh, these boys are glue glued. Alright. And the inside is purple. But as you can see right here. So it's Puma basketball. I like the galaxy, galaxy looking vibes right there. Got his number right there, I believe. And the little shoe thing. And let me see if the other one's different or not. If not, then I'm leave it. And the exact same thing. But I'm gonna show you the box. It's a box he went out a lot. He went out on. I need a lot. This box is pretty stiff. As you can see, it says Mellow and has his number, I believe. Yeah. Subject one. And I'm guessing like this is like like a test subject and his shoes in there. Pretty cool. It says not from here. His number, the Puma logo down here. As you can see it's, it's the size right there, the Puma logo. Another one right there. A little brief, I guess, to like pull the box out and stuff like that. It's a number. The Puma stripe. So it's not from here, right there. Puma. That's on the other side. Has like a, a little sticker thing. I'm guessing that's where it's from, I guess. The, the shoes from the Puma. The logo. I believe I already showed this, I think, but this is not from there, not from here. And then for the bottom, it has like, I guess the sizing and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. Show your foot sizing. I guess you can put your foot on the box, and it'll show it. And that's about it. But. I just want to get my thoughts and opinions. I believe these came out after the Rick and Morty's. Yeah. So these are after the Rick and Morty's. And these sold out quick too. I believe it took them a day. They're sitting in a couple stores I seen. But I managed to get three. But I know people are going crazy for the Rick and Morty's. And now they got these, the McQueens. And I'm going to get my thoughts and opinions. I'm going to give it. 10 out of 10. My homeboy gets a pair. We recently played basketball yesterday. And yeah, they look stiff on foot. I ain't gonna lie. Like, you just look loud on the court basically wearing these. If you see somebody wearing these, and you'd be like, oh, yeah. Those are for sure the Lamellos. You know what I'm saying? And the Rick and Morty's, those are even more loud. Because one is, one is green and one is red. So he's like, it's more of a louder colorway, but it's two different colorways. And, you know, but, 
Yeah, it's just all purple with a little bit of blue. I guess it's a little bit of blue. A blue color, a turquoise, I should say. But I get these 10 out of 10 right now, they're 150, 160, I was saying. Yeah, I say these are good investments because I see these being like the start of the new wave of basketball shoes because back then it was Katie's, LeBron's, and Kobe's and stuff like that. It was hard to get, but that now these are hard to get. Imagine when he comes out with more colorways. I heard rumors he's gonna drop another colorway, but like this turquoise color, it's gonna be all turquoise on all over the shoe, which is gonna be fire. But I feel like, I feel like this is gonna be a good hold because whenever he does drop the Lamello twos, these are gonna go up automatically. So it's like, these are good holds long terms and short terms. Like you can make a quick, like at the jump they're like $200, but they, they shot down to 150, 160 range. And retail's 130. So you're still making 20 bucks off of these. If you shot if you got them out the gate, you're making 80 to 100 bucks profit. And the Rick and Morty's, they're still up there in price. They're like 250, 200 range. So you're still making 100 and 150 dollars off of those Rick and Morty's. So I can't stress it enough. These are long term and short term. A little iffy with these but the Rick and Morty's are long terms but but yeah if you have a couple of these like five or ten pairs hold on to them these are good holds hopefully I could run with that but yeah let me know how y'all feeling about these I get my um, my opinion on it I get these a 10 but yeah stay tuned for more videos LBT Sneaker Miss signing out